started with the bud and Arabic dance, and now I'm going to move to the slow opening of the lotus. Slow opening of the lotus that is associated with self-awakening. It is so in India with Buddhism and Hinduism. So to do so, to talk about this, I will use the vocabulary coming from Kathak dance. Kathak dance is a classical North Indian style. Um, it is a very ancient dance also, just like Arabic dances. And it has been largely influenced by Middle Eastern dances later, during the Mughal era. So I came to India in 2010 to study Kathak. I just came for that. And today, I am settled in New Delhi. So I learned from J.K. Shan Maharaj, the elder son of Biru Maharaj. And Kathak dance, that's the center posture of Kathak. And it's all about opening and closing all the time. So Kathak is very linked with the lotus. And it also has mudras, hand gestures, that represent the lotus. After the opening of the lotus, the fully open lotus. The fully open lotus can be a symbol of uh, full enlightenment and simply divinity. So to talk about these ideas, I will take the dance vocabulary coming from Persian dance from Iran. Persian dances are very linked with Kathak. They influenced Kathak a lot. So it has also a lot of turns and a lot of body extension, but it's even more in what we call the court dance of Persia. So while one is watching Persian dance, one feels somehow closing, closer to the sky, I would say. I discovered Persian dances while going to Iran last summer. I was working on a project to reconnect Kathak with Persian dances, a connection that has been a little lost uh, after the partition. And uh, for dancers, the life is not easy there because of the government sanctions on dance. Pur public performances of dance are not allowed. 
So it is a, a little difficult, my, my search for, to learn Persian dance was a little difficult there because of that. And now actually Persian dance is mostly pr practiced abroad due to these restrictions. just to show you how quickly the, the dance the dances look like. These days I work mostly with Kathak and Persian dance vocabulary. So overall, we can say that the lotus flower is all about transformation. Now, my artistic journey has been a challenge. It has been a challenge as a dancer, before all, which is the, maybe the least respected art form. As a Middle Eastern and Indian dancer, these cultures are quite traditional and male-oriented. As a woman dancer, and finally, as a French woman dancer living in New Delhi, India, where the image of Western woman is not always as it's at its best, I would say. But I'm getting better at going through this journey. I'm getting better at staying grounded and focused on my practice. And I try to keep as much as possible my art available for some causes as well and just to the world as in general. So I try to be strong, whatever the circumstances are, wherever I am in the world and whoever my audience is. And I have learned that we're able to do much more than we think we are. Really, we do. Thank you. <laughs>